Spark Citizens. This is Grant Nadu with State of the Spark. I'm super pumped you're here. This morning I had an awesome interaction that I wanted to share with you on how to create excellence. Three major points on how to create excellence. Now, what happened this morning was uh, after I took Marissa to work and after I stepped into um, my, my co-working space to move my business forward, uh, when I came downstairs, all the lights were off, but the commissary co-working kitchen was clamoring. There's a bunch of noise, and I was curious, who's working at 6 in the morning? So I opened the shutters, and I looked inside, and there's Robin and her partner Nicole from the Poor Porker in Lakeland, Florida. Now, this is a nationwide recognized brand for doing gourmet beignets, doing interior design. They're a very crafty bunch, but they, they uh, believe in excellence in just about everything they do. So I walked in, I said, what are you guys doing? And I opened up, and for the new local coffee shop, they had created the best s'mores you have ever seen. They're whiskey, vanilla bean, handmade marshmallow, ganache chocolate, and handmade toasted sea salt graham crackers with a hint I believe, of ginger. Now these were cooling on a rack, and in the oven they had sweet potato buttered biscuits with little tiny vials of honey. And I said, oh my gosh, what is this all about? What are you doing? They said, this is for that new local coffee shop that opened up in Lakeland called Concord. And I said, oh my goodness. So this experience, and of course, I'm sitting there drooling over these, and I want one. I asked, can I buy one? They said, no. These are actually for sale, and there's a specific amount on order. We'd give you one otherwise, but we got to bring it over there for sale to meet our order. So I said, of course, what time do they open? I'm going to be there at 7 a.m. So I showed up at 7 a.m., bought a bunch, took them to Marissa, uh, and I'm enjoying some this morning. But here's my point about excellence. There's three points I want to make to you about Robin and her partner, Nicole. They all make the poor porker happen in terms of excellent craft. So here's the quick three-point lessons that I want you to learn on how to create excellence either in your job, in your business, in your nonprofit or mission organization. So throughout the morning, first and foremost, I want you to realize this. They were there early. They were there at 1 a.m. And I overheard Nicole saying to Robin, Hey man, I am working on three hours of sleep. And Robin simply said, welcome to the life of a baker. And the point was simply this, that I want you to hear. Excellence, excellence is more than show. What I mean by that is excellence isn't just what they present. Those gorgeous s'mores, that gorgeous cup of coffee, these gorgeous biscuits, or someone's top tier public speaking event. Very rarely does someone just show up and be excellent. There's a lot of work. So even though when Concord opened at 7 this morning and had this gorgeous presentation, that took hours and hours, well into the evening. They even started yesterday afternoon, made a batch of items that were in prep for the final product. The point is, is that for Concord to sell that to me for a couple of dollars at 7 a.m. and then sell out by 8 a.m., sales were only going on for about an hour. For them to sell out entirely, it took about a 12 to 24 hour cycle to make that product excellent. If you want to be excellent on your job, if you want to be excellent in your business, if you want to be excellent in your nonprofit cause, you have to realize that excellence takes time. Very rarely does someone just show up and, and be excellent. That usually takes a lot of study. That usually takes a lot of hard work. It takes a ton of planning. So when you see this rock band come up and make it look so easy and play this song, Chances are they've crafted that look, they've crafted that sound, they've crafted everything about it to look this way so that you think it's easy, you think it's fun, you think it's whatever. That's why it's so difficult for you and I to achieve the same level of success because the entry fee to excellence is that it's way more than show. It's hard work and planning. The second thing I want to point out is this. Partner. So Robin and Jared are together, they've been together for years, and they have crafted the poor porker into what it is today, a, a business that creates excellence in food and interior design and all sorts of things. Jared has recently gotten sick, and Nicole is there with her from 1 a.m. to delivery moment. How difficult would it be for Robin to do all this alone in a void? Very difficult. Not just tactically difficult, emotionally difficult, inspirationally difficult difficult, psychologically difficult, but because she has someone to talk to, because someone's there in the wee hours of the night gutting it out, that partnership, it's not one plus one equals two. It's two people are exponentially 
succeeding together. So whenever in your business, in, in your job, in your business, or in your nonprofit cause, I insist that you don't think you can do it alone. And now you and I both think we know what that means. But for some reason, people in these situations still act like a lone wolf. I encourage you to take time to internalize who are my key partners? How can I sow into them? How can I articulate value to them to give them incentive to partner with me? Sometimes that's hard value, like money. Sometimes that's hard value, like time. But sometimes it's emotional value, like uh, encouraging them, making them feel like you appreciate them, making them feel like you care. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Make sure you partner to create excellence. The third and final thing, and this is tough for us to do, especially in the business world, but that is insist on excellent standards. Now, this is a real tough one. In the DIY movement that's happening today, in the craft movement that's going on today, you know, there's not a lot of excellence. Everyone's doing things themselves, but they're still putting out a substandard product. You see, excellence, it's more than show. You have to have standards in your mind of somehow. Robin told me this story this morning. She created these wonderful little uh, popovers or pies that are this beautiful um, goat cheese crust around it, and inside it's filled with a blueberry filling. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. I definitely want one. So she tells me this story. Yesterday, midday sometime, she makes these, and something went wrong in the recipe, and they curdled. Now she showed me a photo. They looked perfect. They smelled perfect, but she tasted them and they were just off. She takes them all. She could give them away to the homeless. She could uh, give them to another business. She could sell them for nothing, for pennies on the dollar. She could sample them. What does she do? Tosses them. And I said, Robin, why don't you at least give that to the homeless? She said, listen, this is my craft. This is the thing that I am representing. And I don't want anyone to touch something that's substandard that I've created. And though there is a certain amount of waste, and a certain amount of loss to that, the thing I can't lose, the thing I cannot waste, is my brand of excellence. So the lesson is, insist on excellent standards. I'm not encouraging you to be wasteful. I'm not encouraging you to, to throw stuff away that you don't need to, but I am encouraging you this. Take your time to determine what your standards are of excellence for your business, for your job, for your nonprofit organization. Know what those standards of excellence are, and then do not vary in the moment, if you choose to change the standards over time out of a, an intentional decision, fine. But when you're under pressure, you stick to your standards. They're in place to make you unique. That's what's called a unique service proposition, a USP. It's usually in the form of some degree of excellence. So those are my three points. Excellence is more than show. Partner with someone awesome and insist on excellent standards. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to the feed. Tell your friends if they need to know about excellence and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.